Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and it is finally time to do something productive with the artist formerly known as my camper trailer. If you've followed the channel for any length of time, or if maybe you've gone back and seen some of my older stuff, you may recall a certain camper trailer that I had way too much fun dismantling. That's now been, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and this poor trailer has been languishing, piled high with stuff, uh, just kind of shoved off in the back. Well, it has struck me that it's about time to make it useful again in a different form, so I'm gonna start the process. First, let me show you what I'm starting with here. This beauty was a, uh, I believe a 15 foot, I've been calling it a 19 foot forever, but I believe it was a 15 foot camper trailer, 15 foot inside dimension. It is about, it's just shy of 19 foot, like 18 and a half foot from the front of the hitch to the back bumper. It has a pretty narrow wheelbase. In fact, it's just over five feet in between the rails. It does have electric brakes on it and I have looked and the bearings actually seem to be in pretty good condition. But this, this is what we're dealing with here. Quite rusty, but it seems as though everything's kind of functional. I have no idea about the brakes. Even when this was a, a camper trailer that I occasionally towed, uh, I never did have the brakes hooked up. So who knows how that's going to go. So as I'm trying to figure out how this deck is attached, a couple of things I've discovered. First off, that it's just barely attached. There are those two bolts from top to bottom. There's one here, one there. Uh, like maybe one on the outside there and I think a couple in the back. But other than that, <laughs> this thing's just sitting on here. And also, while I'm crawling around down under here with the spiders, I discovered this. Now, I don't know how many things you've, how many cans you've shot. That's a pretty distinctive mark, a distinctive signature. Hmm, let me take a look and see what's on the top. Looking at it from the other side, there's our, um, shall we say, exit hole. And right about here is, I don't know, man. That's something I might call an entrance hole. It's right about where the little dinette thing was. So, um, yeah, also a bed area. Man, I hope nobody was, you know ended in this camper so i think what i need to do is i need to bust these these few bolts loose because i don't think there's any sense trying to unbolt them and uh, maybe i can just roll this thing up that'd be pretty cool unlikely but i'll try So as I went tearing this thing apart, I was lamenting the fact that I don't, 
I don't have anywhere to put all this junk. I mean, I don't have a dumpster. Um, I guess I could load it all in the back of the truck, but it's kind of big pieces anyway. And I was scratching my head over, man, I wish I had a utility trailer to haul this stuff off with. And then it occurred to me, I can use this trailer to haul its own bones off once I'm finished resurfacing it. So I'll just stack all this junk off to the side. Then once I'm done with the trailer, I'll stack all that junk back onto the trailer and haul it off to the dump. All right, so after a little bit more hacking and cutting, there she is, laid bare before the world. And uh, I think we got some pretty good bones to work with. And now comes what will undoubtedly be the most tedious part of this whole project. I'm not gonna make you watch this whole thing. After a while with this thing, my teeth are rattling, my hands are vibrating and I'm not sure if it's the best way to do it so I went and dug up one of these and I'm gonna see how it compares hey this is a pretty good excuse for a head-to-head -head video